Our name's uh, Bill and Michelle Bryant. We're at Cicerea, which is 75k south of Mitchell. We've got three kids at Scott's PGC. We've got Matilda in year 12, we've got Will in year 10 and Phoebe in year 8. Boarding school was essential for our kids because we did distance ed for what felt like forever. Um, so we had to find somewhere because they weren't staying here and I wasn't teaching them any longer than I had to. So we decided to go and look at five different schools when we started looking and Scott's was one of them. And when we got there, we just breathed a sigh of relief that it felt home and it was the right decision for us to go there. Scott's felt like home to us because of the layout of it. Um, it was quite open and wide open spaces and trees and plenty of green area. It also felt like home because of the people as well, like down to earth people like that we met there on the day. What I was really excited about was the boarding facilities for the girls because I thought it was pretty essential that they had their own space and their own room, which other schools didn't have. And so that was a big seller for us and it's paid off. They really do need their own space. So everyone at um, Girls Boarding has their own room right from the start, no matter what grade you're in. And I think it's really important because you can decorate your own room to make it feel like yours. And it's important to have like space to be yourself and um, time away from the other girls. So Phoebe and I live over at the Girls, bo like girls Boarding at Old PGC. Um, that's off campus and Will lives on campus at Boys Boarding but we still get to see Will every day at school which is very important to me because I'm very close with him. So We're really glad that, that our boy Will has got the opportunity to um, do a school based apprenticeship um, and because Scots is in a small community um, they're able to partner with um, a lot of different industrial businesses and stuff in the area so that, that'll be really good for him. Definitely my favourite thing at school would be the tech shed, just working with my hands. Things that I made in Year 10 Tech, uh, we did a chair for woodwork and now I'm doing a coffee table, toolbox, and then we did a fire brazier and now we're doing a fishing rod. I think tech's great because it teaches us life skills like business skills and Mr Muscadry has us treated like a business so we have to work out how much steel and try and use the most amount with the less amount of scrap and how much it's going to cost and everything. And then in grade 12 you like you build your own project like a trailer or a dog, dog box and you've got to pay for the steel and build it and I think. I think it was definitely an advantage for Scott's having the ag facilities there. Um, you know when you drive into the place you can see sheep on the side of the road in the paddock and that sort of thing. Um, so it made the kids feel a lot more like they were at home. Um, obviously coming from where we come from, that was a pretty important thing. So when we were picking out a boarding school for me and my brother and sister to go to, um, we looked at five different other schools and Scott's was the only one that really had a rural feel and the rural feel for us was very important because we come from like a rural area. I don't have my horse here at Scott's but some of my friends do and it's really good for them because their horses are on campus so they can um, ride them every afternoon if they want to, look after them, go to competitions but still be able to do co-curricular and keep up with their um, schoolwork. It's important to me that Warwick's a rural town so like you've got these big parks and a lot of grass, a lot of trees and then at Scott's we've got like cows and sheep that we go around and help Mr Collette with so that just feels a bit more like home and my day student friends live on farms so go ride motorbikes and drive tractors and help their dads. I couldn't see myself doing that at a Brisbane or city school. When I first started boarding I was very excited the first day that I got there but then uh, when mum and dad left I felt a bit homesick but um, the boarding master came in and saw me and I went and spoke to some of the other girls and found out they were all feeling the same. So now that I'm boarding captain, I make sure to talk to the younger girls and make sure they're okay and not feeling too homesick. When we first took Matilda there, our eldest girl, it was a big deal. Like it, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done, having to drive away. With the other two, it, it wasn't anywhere near as bad because we, we had the confidence that we were doing the right thing by them. And I think the, the growth in the kids has been unbelievable, really, yeah. 
So boarding schools offered more than academic and social, it's offered them a community and a place to belong really. When we sent them away, we wanted them to get a good education, we wanted them to be healthy, we wanted them to be safe and they've got so much more. They've got terrific friends. They are getting a good education. You know, they're, they're exceeding all expectations in doing things out of the classroom. What they're involved in is just amazing. So I think, yeah, they're coming out of it well-rounded human beings. Good job, Mum. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. <laughs>